time ago in the late 1900s, we watched our next guest come of age on one of the most beloved coming of age shows of all time. He is now the fully grown executive producer and director of a rebooted The Wonder Years. It premieres tomorrow night here on ABC. Please say hello to Fred Savage. <laughs> By the way, I saw you on the uh, Emmys in that sketch you did Sunday, and you were very funny. That was a lot of fun. That was yeah. fun to do. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, well, thank you. We all laughed. We watched it and laughed a lot. You never know how those are going to quite go over. And so I was watching it with my kids. I was at a friend's house, and I was watching it with my kids. And, uh, you know, they're 15, 13, and, and 8. And uh, they're all, you know, checking uh, Twitter. Like, Dad, it's, people are really digging it. You know, they're really liking it. I'm like, really? They're like, they're reading the Twitter comments. They're like, Fred Savage, I so would. Or uh, <laughs> my kids really? are doing this to me. Or like, Fred Savage is my hall pass. I was like, fantastic. <laughs> They're mostly from men. Uh -huh. But OK, I, all right. <laughs> I'll take it. Sure. I think my wife is still on notice uh, because, you know, they're coming from all angles. You don't know. Yeah, when you're somebody's hall pass, that's no kidding around. They so would. Boy, it's a good thing to sketch. And having, having your 13-year-old daughter read that to you is... Is, is odd. Is yeah, special. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think for a lot of us, it's weird that you even have a 13-year-old daughter. I mean, it is strange, right? It's put me on the list. It's so strange. It's how so old strange. were you when you were on The Wonder Years, when I you started? I started when I was, like, 11 years old. 11 years old. Uh, the no. same age as, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, my kids are now my, older than I was, so it's, yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy to watch And that. you, oh, like, so you were at the Emmys when you were a kid, right? Because you were nominated a couple of times. I was nominated a couple yeah. times. Right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a voter. Thanks so much. I uh, appreciate the support. Against adults, right? Against adults, against yeah. adults, which didn't seem fair. They were stronger and bigger than me. Yeah. Um, but uh, I got to, I got to, I was nominated and I got to present a couple of times. Oh, you did? Uh, which Who'd was, you present uh, with? Uh, I presented, uh, one year I presented with Carol Burnett. Great. And then uh, the other year, right, legend, I presented with Carl Reiner. Oh my God, uh, Which wow. was like... Epic, epic. Wow. And uh, do you remember what you guys did? Did you have like a thing planned? I mean, I remember there was a bit, and I'll, this this haunted me for years. Oh. We were we rehearsed it. We rehearsed it because you go before the Emmys and you rehearse. And um, he had a note for me, like the legendary Carl Reiner. He's like, Hey, Fred, you know, when you get to this part, take a pause. And I was like, Okay, yeah, yeah, I will. And you know, you get there and you're the Emmys. I'm like, you know, 14, and I'm excited, and I didn't pause. I just drove right through it. And I, I, I felt terrible because I didn't want Carl Reiner to be like, gave me a note and I'm like, yeah, thanks, Carl, got it. I'll do, I'll, you know, I'll fly blind on this one. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what a jerk. And I couldn't find him. And I carried it with me forever. I felt so bad. And like, I'm not kidding, 25 years later, I was at a dinner and Carl Reiner was there. And I went up to him, I'm like, Carl, Fred. <laughs> 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 and I reminded him of this thing, and I'm like, and I didn't take your note. And he goes, have you been, this is like 25 years later, he goes, have you been carrying this around all these years? I'm like, I have. He goes, you're absolved. And Thank God. It was <laughs> such a wait. It was such a wait. I can't even tell you. Thank God you got absolution before I, I Carl mean, passed away. Thank I mean, God, you were, thank yeah. God. Yeah. Well, that is what a crazy life you had. <laughs> That's crazy. just nuts. The last time you were here, you were, as I recall, and correct me if I have this wrong, you were like training with Chef Ludo, who's a very well known chef here in Los Angeles. You were Training just to learn to cook, I right? was working in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, I was working in the kitchen a little bit. Are you yes. still doing that? Uh, I'm not doing that anymore. He's moved on to uh, more professionally trained uh, chefs. He has, okay. Uh, but I've, uh, so I'm, you know. Did you not pause when he told you to pause? <laughs> I said, I got this, man. <laughs> if I'm not listening to Carl, I'm not listening to you, Ludo. Uh, and so, but so I'm trying, I'm always finding new things to try out and do. And so during the pandemic, I, uh, I picked up pickleball. I started playing oh, pickleball. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Don't know if any of you guys are you guys pickleballers. Really, I'm on the ground floor of something exciting, I think. Yeah. Uh, great sport. Uh, very low impact. Is you know, it a lot mostly of for older people? Mostly seniors. Yes. Mostly seniors. And yeah, and me. But the thing that I love is that, um, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm 45. I'm not young to be doing a lot of things. But I get on the pickleball court, and they're just like, 
amazed at my athleticism. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like incredibly fleet of foot. I can get balls and I can run around. It's, it's awesome. So you are playing with old people. I'm playing with older people, yeah. which I really enjoy, uh -huh. but it sometimes bites me. I, I was playing with, the other day with, with this guy and you know, I get real competitive, you know? So I'm out there with Bob, this guy Bob, you know? And I'm playing, I'm like, at the, we, we, we were bested, we lost. How old's Bob? Bob is, it's not sure. I'm not sure, but he's pretty old. Mm -hmm. I did, didn't mean I didn't get after him. I was like, Bob, what happened to that game, man? What's going on? He said, well, you know, I just, I'm coming back from hip surgery. I'm like, all right. And he goes, and, uh, and you know, now after the surgery, one leg is longer than the other one. <laughs> And like Bob, you got to tell me that before you partner up with me. You got to be, you got to be upfront yeah, about what's did, yeah, going he on. He did the wrong thing. He did the right. You got to tell. You got to tell someone. Oh, my legs aren't the this same. This sounds length. like a movie or something. And then I, yeah, well, you know, it's just you, you got to be careful. Fred Savage is with. pickle boy. Yeah. this could be a great thing. I get very aggressive. I, I was playing with another woman, Mary, and you know, same thing. I was like, Mary, you know what's going on? And the guy's like, Go oh, take it easy on Mary. You know, she uh, has cataracts and she's losing her vision. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, can she see it all? But like, a little bit. I'm like, well, you know what? Don Knotts pulled the same stunt on Billy Bob, so yeah. I don't buy that. It's not cool. It's not cool. Just tell me. This show, The Wonder Years, is it a reboot? Is it correct to call it a reboot? Uh, it's, it's a reimagining of, re of, of, the, of the original. It's a reimagining. It's much so better, yeah. It's, uh, it, it focuses, the original is on, on, on this family, the Arnolds, and this is a new family, the Williamses. Uh, it takes place in the same year, 1968. Uh, focusing on an African American family in Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it's the same tone as the Wonder Years. We have a narrator. Uh, it, this one is Don Cheadle. Don doing Cheadle's the, voice the narrator, yeah, right. Uh, nice. Incredible, incredible. Um, and so uh, he comes in the records with like a motorcycle helmet. He's so cool. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't wear it while he's narrating. He does puts he? the visor okay, up. Okay, good. That's yeah, good. He yeah, puts yeah, the visor yeah. up. He's a pro. I yeah, knew he yeah, would. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. He knows how sound works. Well, I thought it would be. Um, I think it would be right if you were to pass the baton to the, your new young star of the Wonder Year. EJ. He, he's EJ. the lead of the new show. EJ is the new one, and we actually. Do you want to go get a baton? I have. I brought a backpack full of batons. Oh, great! Go get the baton. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. All right, okay. All right, now we get a we got a baton. Let's go to EJ Williams, who is EJ. Where are you, EJ? How, how's it going? Hello, hello. Wow, look at how well dressed you are, um, EJ. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's been fun. Had you ever seen it or heard of it before this? Um, yes. Now, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. Without me even doing anything when I first heard of it and my parents just re-familiarized, re -familiar however you say it. You better get it together, I, EJ. This is a big job. <laughs> yeah, um, so when my parents, I knew about it, but then when my parents um, came to me and were telling me more about it, um, to expand my knowledge on it, I didn't even have to say anything. My parents said, thanks for making me feel old. <laughs> Are you prepared to accept the Wonder Years baton that I don't know if, um, I don't know if Fred went to his car to get it or what happened, but he's gone. <laughs> Are you prepared to accept uh, the it, baton? Got it, got it, oh, got it. Oh, there he is. Got it, got it. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Fred. <laughs> he's back. Don't I'm worry. Back. <laughs> you got a lot of batons, huh? Well, I lose things. Give him uh, the blue one. Give him the okay, blue one. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, good. EJ, you ready, buddy? <laughs> I yeah. am. And here we go. This is a major moment. Fred Savage. Fred, just so you know, this means you're retiring. EJ accepts uh, the baton. Yeah! I'm just excited I was part of that. That was amazing. <laughs> EJ Williams, Fred Savage, The Wonder Years premieres tomorrow night, 8.30 here on ABC. Thank you, Fred. My Thanks, pleasure. EJ. We'll be back with Thanks, Steve Mitchell. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.